Okay, this is a picture of the brochure for Thunderbird Atlatl. And uh, you got these people throwing right here, and you got, I mean, people from eight years of age on up. Now, this is a catatonk. This is the one I did, the Hunter catatonk design here. And uh, this is the one I've got now. Um, this is a wild loosing. And you can kind of see the how those look. And a little closer, we get focus. You can see the artificial sinew uh, wrappings on these right here. And they come all the way up here and they hold that deer bone. Uh, I mean, deer antler can be bone, but uh, usually there's a moose or, a moose or deer antler, uh, the one that they send. I want to color mine up a little bit like this reddish a little bit in the darts too. And uh, you can make out of copper, you can make points out of a flat piece of copper, and beat it out and then roll it around and make points out of it. And people throw in. Okay, here's some different types of atlatls. Uh, these throw kind of like overhand, like a softball, I mean like a baseball. And these throw, you hold these like a hammer to throw them on this. So, another picture here. You can see the different color uh, fletching. So, uh, they're really pretty uh, and uh, easy to put together in these kits. So if you uh, interested in that in Thunderbird Atlatl, it's really fun to do and it's price is real reasonable for what you're getting here. And they look good as a wall decoration too. And these go back uh, over 45,000 years ago. The bow came out around 35,000 years ago, something like that. So the bow kind of replaced the Atlatl, but there are, there are places in the world today like Australia, Amazons, and places in Africa where people still use the atlatl. So it was uh, kind of like the wheel, what the wheel did for the world when it came out. The atlatl was, was very useful. Hey guys, Gary J here. And today I'm going to be put, putting together, hopefully finishing uh, this atlatl kit that I ordered from Thunderbird atlatl. And I'll put a web link in the description box from Thunderbird atlatl. Now I do have a Catatonk Hunter Atlatl that I got from Thunderbird Atlatl Company. And uh, I got a video on how to put that one together. I bought it in a kit form just like I bought this one. This one's called the Wyalusing, Wyalusing Indian name. Uh, designed by Bob Berg, who uh, him and his wife own the company. And uh, Thunderbird Atlatl Company is one of the four more companies in the world that make atlatls and uh, kind of family owned. And uh, it's, uh, it's just a, a, a great bunch of people there uh, at Thunderbird Atlatl. And so it's cheaper to buy a kit form and it's, it's usually very easy to put uh, one of these kits together. And... Uh, if you watch my videos on the Hunter Catatonk Atlatl with the seven foot darts, and these this one has seven foot darts too that I ordered, uh, you can get an idea of what you have to do to make put these kits together, and it's very very simple and very easy and a lot of fun to do. And so, uh, just looking here, this is made out of ash wood. I think and it looks like ivory, just beautiful wood. He's he uh, is able to make the darts there uh, at his uh, company and the atlatls. And you see the back here, it's, it's been kind of bored, at, bored uh, on the back of them here. Now that fits the back of your atlatl spur is what that does. And if you look right here, you can see kind of this wavy form uh, on the back part of it. It's kind of an undulation part right here and uh, it kind of tapers and undulates and that makes these more accurate in throwing according to uh, the Atlatl company Bob Berg 
and uh, so that's uh pretty neat there and up at the very front of them here you can see the points right here how it's tapered down here again it's beautiful wood right here isn't it it's like almost like ivory and they really absorb stain real well and so these atlatl kits it comes with the fletching here there's nine feathers here to make your your um put your to put your fletching on your darts you usually get a three pack you order the three pack and it comes with your feathers and it comes with uh your field points too inside here so you got everything you need except to stain it and uh, color it up however you want to if you look at my video on the catatonk hunter that, that i did you'll see i put rings and stuff with a propane torch on the uh, darts and stained it a kind of a, a a darker walnut color and it made it look real antique looking or real old looking i think those turned out pretty good now this right here is the uh, wire loosing atlatl which is kind of a unique design this design bob berg uh mentioned that he had uh, watched several documentaries and been to museums and so forth and studied various ancient atlatls and so uh originally i think he was a carpenter uh he went and and created this design right here and made that and so it's really a nice design very unique looking and it's kind of a compilation of all the stuff that he's seen in atlatls and uh this right here for your finger grooves to hold and this right here holds your dart and uh we call these seven foot darts they come in five foot six foot and seven foot you can order them different sizes the the longer ones are said to be easier to throw i think and are more accurate so these come about 90 percent finished and comes with a sandpaper from like 200 grit to uh fine grit so that you can just polish this out in probably uh 20 minutes and uh, with the sandpaper and this one has sinew artificial sinew wrapped around it when it's finished and they they included that and uh on the end right here you have a you have a antler which is usually deer or moose antler right here uh, when you finish your atlatl you can glue this to the atlatl and then you tie it with the uh, artificial sinew and that artificial sinew will tie this down and it'll go through this hole right here and then it'll make a crisscross pattern down through here and so um, it will look really nice uh, when you finish up uh, with this atlatl and uh, they're a lot of fun and easy to do now i had ordered uh, some broadheads this is a pack of six broadheads right here and uh, for hunting and i ordered a dozen field points right here i have 14 fiberglass uh, darts no 16 fiberglass uh, atlatl darts that i made and i've got a video on fiberglass atlatl darts how to do those and a video on how to put fletching on your atlatl darts and put the points on there and so forth so if you look up gary j catatonk hunter uh atlatl fletching and um i think atlatl throwing you'll see the catatonk hunter model which is really a nice atlatl too but this is their kind of premier one so i'm not sure what all i'm gonna do what all i can do to this one the catatonk i did a lot of different things to it with a dremel to kind of make it my own and this one i'm going to do some a few things to it i really hadn't figured it out yet until i start but uh it'll be a fun project okay guys i'm going to start working on this now and look how white and pretty this wood is this ash wood right here and that is so nice.
So I thought about just sanding it down and then using my Dremel tool on it. And then I'm thinking, well, it's easier to use the Dremel tool first and do whatever you're going to do. And I don't really know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to do something with a Dremel tool. And kind of make it my own unique uh, atlat on here. And then I'll sand it down. And then uh, I'll uh, burn it with a propane, give it some color. And sand it down again. And let that color from the propane torch, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be a burnt dark color, but it'll be a light dark color. And that flame will make that grain in here pop out really pretty wherever you hit it at. So, let me figure out what I'm going to do with this uh, Dremel. It's, the thing is so pretty the way it is, you don't even want to hardly do anything to it, but I know I've got to do something right here. I'm going to cut indentions here with my uh, Dremel tool for my fingers so they don't slide when I when I go to throw because they say you'd be holding it like this right here. The top part feels pretty good right here. And actually... It feels pretty good just the way it is, but uh, well, I'll get my Dremel tool and figure out what I'm going to do to it to make it different. Okay, guys, I'll show you what I've done to this atlatl uh, this time, and um, you see this streaking right here of the brown. The stripes on it's kind of like a candy cane striping and uh, I'll show you how that's done and it's real easy this uh, wood is so white looking ash wood that um, it's pretty amazing it's easy to darken it using a uh, propane uh, torch like this these cost about $18 and uh, you can get them at any hardware store and uh, you just light the flame on it, and you can take this right here and kind of rotate it around and and slowly burn it. And I'll show you on a dart how that works. And uh, just kind of slowly burn it, and it'll turn kind of black. When you get through with it, then you'll just take, and, take some sandpaper and sand over it, and you'll get a light uh, color like this that you, you see on here now. And uh, I took a Dremel too, and a lot of times you want to kind of make it your own and make it uh, ergonomical for you as much as possible. Um, for finger grips, I took a Dremel too with one of those round drum type sanding bits, and it's only about so big, and just uh, laid it down here to drill out, I mean to uh, uh, grind out these fingerprints right here and I did it especially on this side here and I, I measured my fingers so that it would fit my fingers in my hand perfectly so like this right here so my fingers fit right in there uh, perfectly and I did a debit here too with a grinder so my thumb goes right here and that way, when I throw it, I can put my thumb right here and, and get probably uh, maybe a better vertical throw. You could hold it like this right here, but this way right here, I think will lend to a better vertical uh, uh, throw. Also on the bottom here, I divided this out too. I kind of did that with my other, uh, my catatonk. And... Uh, just trying to get it to look a little different and on this part right here I also ground this right here out a little bit deeper than what it was so uh, I could feel that a little bit better and just trying to modify it some just to make it different uh, it's hard for you to see right here but I ground this right here and across the front of it there and on the other side and 
I also put these uh, divots here on it. And a couple here. Now this uh, antler bone here looks uh, uh, pretty white. And what I'll do with this right here, I'll just uh, I'll take a, a, a cup of water and put a couple of spoonfuls of uh, uh, instant coffee in it, get it kind of dark, and I can just set this in there uh, overnight or a few hours, and uh, it'll turn dark, and it'll look kind of like this right here a little bit. And uh, you, you can kind of sand that out too a little bit. But after you uh, make your divots and stuff like that, where you Dremel tool and kind of make it, you know, kind of unique for you, also uh, ground this right here a little bit, and that's where your dart sits right here. And uh, on the other end, I ground this just a little bit too. And I used, uh, it was like 200 grit and maybe 600 grit and then 1,000 grit type sandpaper to smooth it all out. And so that's kind of where we're at right there. Now, I've got some stain right here. i got to wipe this down with acetone or, or something like that. And this is color that I'm going to do this at Lattle. I wanted a, a little bit darker red but or reddish color. But anyway, uh, I think this will work for what I want. And... I got red feathers here for the uh, uh, darts, and uh, so we'll see how that works. I got some eagle feathers that are white, and I may put an eagle feather, uh, put two red feathers and one white eagle feather uh, on the darts. So I'll wipe this down, then we'll stain it, and I'll show you real quick about how easy this ash wood is to... Um, to burn like this right here and again you sand it down it's kind of a dark color when you burn it like this and you see it's 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 like a candy cane it's kind of at an angle so if you're like me when you start these projects right here you're not sure exactly how it's going to turn out you know you just kind of use your imagination while you're doing it so that's kind of where we're at right there Okay, this is, of course, an unfinished dart right here. Okay, and uh, let me flip that over. And these are seven feet long. This is the point of it right here. And we'll use a, uh, a hard um, stick glue, melt that, and put this on the point right here, and then put our field point on. But if you want to color this wood up right here, to, well, it stripes like this right here or something like that. Uh, use your propane torch and I'll show you how we do that. Okay, we've got a propane lit right here. And see how white this wood is right here? Make sure I got that in view. It burns real quick. You have to do it kind of slow and just rotate it. Don't let it catch on fire. Hmm. So maybe you get an idea of what this looks like now right here. And uh You end up sanding this off right here, and it'll it'll be a light. You can kind of see it right there. It's, it's kind of warm, but it'll be a light, smoky look right here to it. And 
you can you can sand it kind of like vertical with my like my thumb is right here if you want to kind of make the edges a little bit more crispy uh get to the white wood again but i wanted to kind of match it up a little bit with uh, uh these other darts right here so that's how easy it is to uh, do your do your at ladle right here. All you're doing is touching that flame to it like that, and you'll you'll get this design depending on where you want to do it. Now you can mark it with a pencil if you want to. I just to go by eye when I'm doing it, and kind of make it however you want to do it. Okay, here are three of the. Uh, uh, darts here and uh, try to burn them pretty much the same way give them kind of that same look and uh, up here right here you got one two three four on each one of these right here and right below that I have just one mark here that's dart number one this has two burn marks that's dart number two and this has three, so that's dart number three. That way you can keep up with which one's throwing the best. So that's kind of how they look once you're once you're done right there, as far as uh, blacking them with a flame. You can probably do that. You can do that with a cigarette lighter. So just have to sand that down uh, a little bit and wipe it down, and then stain it. And it shouldn't take long at all. Okay, guys, we've got our stain here. This is the bottom of a cup, plastic cup right here. I've shaken it up for about a minute and a half. And uh, make sure I spill it. All right, I'm back. This is going to be actually a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. But to me, it's a lot easier to use something like a paper towel. You don't really need a brush to put this stuff on. Yeah, this is this is really the color I really wanted too. I think this is pretty close to it. A paper towel puts an even coat on it, and. Uh, When you put your stain on anything, really, uh, you want to put a lot of it on there, real liberal on putting the stain on. So it sucks into the, gets sucked into the wood really good. I'll let you see it in just a minute and see how this is coming out. It's really it's a, a pretty color to me. I want it to stand out, and I want those darts to stand out too. That'll match. The, it'll be those darts that I just uh, did will uh, they'll match this color. So I think that's going to be really pretty. So I've wiped it down here kind of liberally a good bit, trying to get it to soak in. And once you do that, I'm going to do that uh, a couple more times to make sure that uh, that stain is absorbed real well into this wood right here. And that's what the other end looks like right here. Yeah, that's that's really kind of the color I wanted right there too. Okay, guys, I thought I'd get a group photo here. In our video, we've been working on the Wild Lucing Wild Lucing Atlatl. 
and uh, finished it up yesterday. It, it takes a few hours to do one of these. It's not very long to do one, but uh, depending on what you want to do to it and all. And the one we've been working on in this video is this one, the Wailusing. That's the Indian name. And uh, the stain that I use is kind of this reddish color, and I use the same stain on the darts. And uh, Thunderbird Atlanta must have knew that uh, I was going wanting to use red. So, lucky enough, I got red feathers for the fletching. And those are about eight and a half inches long, probably. And I think uh, the wild loosing here turned out real well to me. Uh, that's an antler. We can get it to focus. That's an antler, deer antler right there. Sometimes they use moose antler. And... Uh, I glued it on here with super glue, uh, Gorilla Glue, last night, and then I tied it on this morning with uh, artificial sinew. And uh, I had done a few different things to it to kind of personalize uh, this one. And uh, you see that the color looks good to me. And I had burnt, burnt it with a propane torch, this dark colors right here, stripe pattern. And I put a crisscross on the uh, artificial sinew right there. And I cut some divots out here, remember, uh, right across through here. And uh, also on this end over here, cut some divots in that. And uh, I kind of cut this out a little bit reshape that and I put finger grooves in here you can see them right here to fit my fingers exactly and I cut out here a little bit so I can get a better grip and I put finger grooves on this side to make it ambidextrous and so to me it turned out real well and the fletching right here this artificial sinew uh, put that on and um, I think that turned out well and I put like glue over uh, this artificial sinew where my thumb is here and on the other end right there and uh, you run a streak of glue all the way down on one side of each feather the fletching so I like it, it looks good to me in my other one, I got a video on this one. This is the Catatonk Hunter. They make a Catatonk, then they make the Catatonk Hunter. And this one has the black fletching uh, with the artificial sinew. Done the same way. And uh, these are colored up pretty much the same pattern here. And uh, this is a dark oak uh, colored stain here. And uh, I did that lateral the same on this one. This one was more involved. Did a lot of work dishing this out right here with a Dremel, putting finger grooves here, uh, working on this part right here a little bit. And on the back end, I dished that out. And that's purple heart wood for the spur um, right here that holds the back of the atlo. It's dart itself. And that's kind of a representation of eagle feather. It's been dyed, of course. So, Catatonk Hunter and the Wild Lucing, I N G on the end of that, uh, uses Hunter 2. Now, these they have fill points. See how long these fill points are. And use hot stick glue to put these on, real easy. And uh, put a spear head point or a broad head on this one. And uh, just glue it on with hot stick glue. Heat it up with a cigarette lighter and that glue will start to melt a little bit and you can take this off and put a fill point in just a, a minute uh, to change them out. So that's pretty much how they look. So we're going to throw them and see how they throw. Well I know the Catatonic Hunter throws well. I haven't thrown this one yet so we'll see. Okay guys this is a stand that I had made. 
uh, and um, this uh, really holds these seven foot darts really well. Uh, otherwise, they're hard to depend on how many you have. Now, I have uh, fiberglass darts that I made, and I've got a video on those. I made about 16 fiberglass darts, and uh, these are a lot prettier when you use regular wood to me. But, uh, and see, I, I can put my atlatls to hang on uh, the stand too, so that makes it very useful. And this will be our target right here. So let's see how she throws. Okay. I'm going to be throwing the uh, wild loosing. Okay, this is how, make sure you can see it. This is how the wild loosing holds the uh, dart on the end. And this antler right here goes into the back of it. It's got a hole back there for it. And, uh, you grab it like this right here, the finger grooves here, and you can hold it up here like this with your finger, or you can put your hand up here like this right here. And it's supported right here, it's a groove, and there's a groove right here that allows you to slide uh, your dart into position. Okay. So let's see how she throws. I'm sorry, it's a couple of inches. Now it's like it's folded or something. Let's see how we do. One, two, three. Ooh, that was. Pretty good throw right there. Actually, uh, a couple of inches to the left of it. That was right above it, about three and a half, four inches above the target. This is good for at level. One, two, three. Ooh. That wasn't too bad. Atlons are hard to throw as far as being, you know, really accurate, accurate. Nothing like a bow. These are the most primitive uh, things you can throw right here. See, you see how. Okay, my camera cut off for a second for some reason. All right, but this is where our target is. And see, that's like three fingers on our target right there. And I'm two fingers away from it right here. And I'm about three and a half fingers away from it here. And this one right here is about four and a half fingers away. So that's really pretty good, uh, and the uh, atlatl dart stuck in straight. See how straight that is? So that was a good throw right there. That I'm seven foot back from this atlatl. You can see these. This is where your spur goes in here. This little divot hole right here. Maybe it'll sit better on that one. But see how long that is? These things are really just tremendously long. And they'll penetrate uh, deeper than a, a, an arrow from a 50 pound bow. So, let's see how that catatonk does. Okay, we're gonna try the catatonk hunter now. Okay, 
Okay, one, two, three. And that last two almost, like they almost tried to split an arrow almost. One, two, three. Ooh. Well, let's take a look at this one. Now these hit, with the catatonic, they hit uh, straight in too, perfectly horizontal with the ground. And these two right here almost hit each other. Actually, they are touching. But, and we see our target here with the catatonic. Uh, about two fingers above it there, and Probably four, about four and a half inches high above it here. And uh, this one is about two fingers away from the target on that one. But see how level it is right here? That's a good throw to me when you do that. And like the other, like the red atlatl wild loosing, you see I'm at seven feet behind this one right here. You see how long that is. These are truly primitive weapons, but you know, if you didn't have anything else to do, you could be really accurate. And these right here are pretty much like a kill zone right here. But uh, people have thrown these through uh, elk, moose, buffalo. Even they say woolly mammoths were killed with the atlatl. So they have a lot of power behind them and they will penetrate uh, deeper than an uh, arrow from a 50 pound bow because of their mass so they're a lot of fun to throw uh, I, I try not to make my videos too long they're always too long so I won't bore you any more details here but these are fun to throw and uh, you can get pretty good with if you throw them a good bit well, thanks for watching, guys. Gary J.